this over there. Hey, Darren, check it out. I've been playing your save file in SteamWorld Dig, A Fistful of Dirt. Oh, negative. Your fleshy brain has probably disrupted my perfect state of progress. Darren, I can't seem to put this game down. Well, affirmative. It's quite a genius platformer. Uh, you play as Rusty, a handsome robot, trying to make his way in an Old West-style world. <laughs> but in actual fact, it's set in the future, where all humans have long since been wiped out and only robots remain. <laughs> OK, as the game starts, we find Rusty heading to the town of Tumbleton to work in his Uncle Joe's mine. But sadly, as you arrive, you find your poor old uncle pushing up the daisies. So you promptly steal his pickaxe and get to work in the mine. The Spawnlings will instantly recognise the nods to both Minecraft and Terraria as you set about digging your way through the earth to find precious minerals in a somewhat randomly generated world. You know what, Darren? It's always really surprised me how much fun it can actually be digging holes in games. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just so satisfying digging further and further down, planning out your mine shaft and hunting for riches. Especially when you're sporting a stylish cowboy hat and neck cheek. Looking sharp there, Daz. Speaking of gear and accessories, they're pretty much the driving force behind all your mining efforts. To begin with, you only have very basic gear. Your pickaxe is slow and can't mine through tough dirt, and you have a lantern that will only light your way for a few minutes. But once it runs out, you'll still be able to navigate through your mine, but you won't be able to see what minerals are around you, making effective mining a tricky task. You also only have a small satchel to start off with, which you'll fill up quickly. Mm. So you'll regularly find yourself making trips back up to the surface to either refill your lantern or exchange all your treasures for cash which you can then spend at the various vendors for higher quality gear such as stronger pickaxes, bigger satchels and longer lasting lanterns. It isn't all mindless digging though. There's also a simple story to follow and there's always an objective guiding your progress, often directing you to find caves which have special abilities or gear hidden away in them. Uh, one ability allows you to charge up a super jump, for example, while another unlocks a drill for digging through rock. These open up new ways of exploring and allow you to go ever deeper into the world. Yes, and what's especially important is these also help you to get back up into town because, as any hole digger will tell you, Darren, digging down is easy. It's digging back up that's the hard part. To start with, you can bring down ladder sections that will help you get out of tricky situations. But as you head deeper, you'll find bigger chasms that you'll need your special powers to get out of. The game does an excellent job of giving you the right gear at the right time, so you'll rarely be stuck somewhere you can't get out of. There's also a variety of shortcuts back to town that open up as you progress deeper down, so you won't have to constantly backtrack through your entire mine. One particularly handy one is the teleporter. You can buy your own teleporter pads from a merchant, allowing you to create shortcuts wherever you like. Ah, yes, but Darren, these cost rare and valuable orbs, so you'll need to use them sparingly. I also love how you become this super powered up mining machine and there's always a new challenge awaiting you the further down you go, from tougher enemies to acid pools and mysterious mechanical worlds full of lasers, Darren. Oh, lasers, robots, mining, brilliant! I'm giving it a perfect 10 rubber chickens out of 10 rubber chickens! What more could you want from a game? Okay, okay, Darren, calm down. I think you're being just a little bit biased there. But yes, this was a very good game, especially for a little downloadable title as well. I got very absorbed in my little mine and I really love the Western setting and the music. I'm going to give this eight and a half rubber chickens.